everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the Swamp Queen palette. Bunny, uh, Graveyard Girl, has been in the, the news and social media for the last little bit for coming forward and being honest with herself and about her life and doing interviews with Shane Dawson have been super interesting and I've just been really enjoying her honesty and what's been going on on her channel. So I thought that we would send Bunny some love and resurrect her palette and hopefully get some folks to fall back in love with it. I really like this palette. I only picked it up probably like a few months ago and I mean for me personally these shades are great. There's a lot of um, neutral mattes and this like smoky apricot um, orangey tones which are gorgeous and you can do tons of looks with them. It's a great palette. I really like it. And I, so let's let's all start using her palette. Let's start showing her some love. Let's start bringing back the Swamp Queen eyes, shall we? Face is all prepped and everything. I will link all the products below. I just wanted this video to be about um, the eyeshadow and as well the highlight and probably a little bit of blush. This is a really good uh, full palette that you can do a full face with. Unfortunately, the contour shade is a little bit too orange for me. Uh, it's very powdery as well. So. You need a tiny amount and then once it's on your skin you're like okay that's that's a color that I have to work with so I've already um, bronzed my skin and contoured my skin with my Too Faced but the rest a uh, little bit of blush highlight and then the eyes of course are all gonna be out of the Swamp Queen palette so let's go ahead and get started so just hopping into natural peaches here I'm just going to fluff in my Sigma E35 and fluff it right on top of my eyeshadow primer which is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Super super great for not creasing. I, boy, if I just think about my eyelids creasing I swear they do. So this stuff has been a godsend. Putting down a little bit of a base and a transition shade. I really really like this color. It is so, it's like the perfect shade. Um, going into Dog Man now, the little, uh, the reddish tone right beside it and just gonna put it on the outer part of my lid here just to start creating a little bit of depth and then blending it out a little bit with a clean brush so no any harsh lines all right so next I'm gonna go into I think I want to go into sassy bun which is this nice shimmery shade here right in the middle and I'm just gonna put that kind of mostly all over my lid. Ooh. This palette is from Tarte, so good quality shadows, definitely highly pigmented. There's fallout for sure. They are a little bit powdery, but you kind of have to expect that with a lot of pigment. Like, it doesn't ever really bother me a lot. I just, you have to adjust how hard you dip in and what tools you use. They're providing you with a ton of pigment to to use and it should last a while. So instead of like, swirling it in and be like, oh, it's just so much kick up. <sighs> Let's just tap in lightly and not use a lot. That's it's kind of, I don't know, maybe a bit, a bit better way to go about it. Okay, so that's actually looking nice and blended. I don't really want to do a whole lot. I think I might pop into the darker sort of brown shimmery shade called Sippy Sippy. Same brush. I'm just going to go a little bit over where I threw the Dog Man color. Again, just to add a little bit more depth. And then blend, blend, blend. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go right into this Gator Wings because this highlight shade is crazy and I'm gonna use this on my eyes as well. Because this is super, super pigmented and has a ton of payoff. I love this highlight. Like, look at that. That's crazy. The brow bone. Like that looks so natural. That's great. That is great. So taking my Sigma P82, I'm just going to do a real quick boop in there because it is pretty pigmented and powdery as well. See? Barely. Barely touch that. Same on this side. Oh my goodness. See? Bunny, you're good. You know what you're doing. You know what you're talking about with this palette. So I'm going to go off camera and just curl my eyelashes, throw on some mascara, and we'll be right back to chat a little bit more. I am going to hop back into this palette and just do a little bit more blush, just because I want to. And I'm just going to take a little angled brush here and just pop it on my cheek. 
sort of like a nice berry rose color. It's not super pink, but it's it's not too dark and it has some nice gold in it. So for me, I love this for the summer. It's just pink and pop and then, oh wait, is that gold? Oh, that's so nice. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. We are just sending some love to Bunny, the Graveyard Girl, for her Swamp Queen palette. This is a really great palette. It is super versatile. I did a super simple neutral look on my eyes today and it probably only took four or five minutes. So, and that was just using three shades, three or four shades. So this palette, like I said, it's very versatile. You can go across the rows and make different eye looks and then you've got highlight, contour, and blush. It does have a really nice big mirror in here. It says, believe in yourself, love yourself, and embrace your individuality. And that's definitely what Bunny's doing. She's being a really good example for everybody, uh, not just YouTubers, but everybody in the world. So let's all just continue to give her some love. Let's all pull out our Swamp Queen palettes and do some graveyard girl looks. And like I said, just keep passing on the positive vibes to Bunny. She's, she's doing something that the world needs to see. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, maybe hit the thumbs up button. Maybe consider subscribing. That would be awesome. And I hope to see everybody in my next video. Aloha.